Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He, he was a married man with ten children, a saintly wife named Bhagavati. And he worked in the British court system in India when it was under the rule of the Raj. But yet, even swamis and saints would come to hear from him and get his blessings because he was such a saintly person. And he used to say, the difficulties I endure to show compassion to other living beings and in doing so to show my love for God, to express, are the greatest joys of my life. Yes, we are all connected forever. It's only the ego, this false illusion, this ignorance that disconnects us. And real yoga is to rise above the ego. And then what comes out of our hearts is the highest, purest, and most satisfying of all virtues, compassion. One of my friends was once on a balcony with my guru, Srila Prabhupada, and he was looking down and there was a garbage heap, a big vessel of garbage. Now, there's garbage in America and there's a garbage heap in India. It's quite a um, graphic scene, a garbage heap in India. <laughs> and there was all these little boys scuffling through the garbage, looking for something to eat. And there was a pack of wild dogs, starving dogs, who were going through the same garbage, trying to find something to eat. And the little children were fighting against the dogs to get some garbage to eat. That's how much they were hungry. And my beloved teacher, he was watching and cried. And he said, wherever we are, within a mile of wherever our devotees are, there should be no one hungry. This should be our aspiration. And by that one gesture of compassion, today, people who follow that teaching of his are feeding over one and a half million children every day in India, in the ghetto schools. One person's compassion, what a difference it could make in the world. Yes, this is yoga of relationship. This is where our real connection is in cleansing our hearts from our ego and our selfishness and our greed and really learning how to honor, respect, and love each other through our love for the divine. And this chanting that Gorvani was doing, it is the most, a most powerful yogic process Divine sound vibration cleanses the heart and awakens our own spiritual essence and empowers us with this love and compassion if we do, if we do this chanting with sincerity.